Hello again, everyone. Thank you for joining us this beautiful morning in Sydney. Sage here at the Kalkine Studio in Sydney and you're watching The Early Trades. Now let's get started with the market open report and the Australian shares edged up 0.2% in the early trade led by increases in the materials and utility sectors. Higher commodity prices from oil to iron ore gas and wheat sent the energy and mining stocks higher. Paladin Energy jumped 7%, Abacus Property Group was the largest laggard, retreating 5%, Cube Holdings fell 0.3%, down to $3. And the Star Entertainment Group has been under review from the New South Wales Independent Liquor and Gaming Authority since the final months of 2021, and yesterday brought in some interesting findings from day one of the public hearings, with it being found that the Star Entertainment Group had disguised Chinese debit card transactions for gambling totaling a sum close to $900 million as hotel charges. It has been found that the ASX-listed casino's chief financial officer, Harry Theodore, and general counsel, Oliver White, are both ancillary in proceedings lying to the NAB and China Union Pay in 2019 in the aim to conceal the fraud. They are still in hearings as to whether the star is fit to maintain its gambling licence. And moving on to the newsmakers from the morning's trading session, Abacus Property Group completed a $200 million placement through the issue of approximately 59.2 million new stapled securities at an offer price of $3.38 per share. Proceeds will be used to finance acquisitions. Settlement is expected on March 22nd with the following day. And the securities will rank equally with existing Abacus stapled securities. The placement is within Abacus's existing 15% capacity and does not require security holder approval. Separately, Abacus plans a security purchase plan for eligible Abacus security holders to acquire up to $30,000 of new stapled securities at the same price as the new issue, free of any brokerage or transaction costs. The SPP will not be underwritten and is expected to raise up to $15 million. And the Australian Com Competition and Consumer Commission will not pursue enforcement action in relation to Cube's acquisition of Newcastle Agri Terminal, but remains concerned with potential impacts on the supply chain for bulk grain export through the port of Newcastle and will continue to monitor developments. Cube completed its acquisition in 2021 before the ACCC was able to properly consider and review the transaction, leading the ACCC to launch an investigation into whether the acquisition was likely to substantially lessen competition in breach of merger law. Cube is Australia's largest provider of import and export logistics services, including ports, bulk material handling, Logistics and property services, the Newcastle Agri-Terminal is one of two bulk grain terminals located at the port of Newcastle. Engineering contractor DRA Africa was awarded the equivalent of $160,405 following proceedings against Likobong Mining Development Company for unpaid services and LMDC gained the equivalent of $2.8 million. DRA originally filed three claims for around $6.2 million and LMDC filed six counterclaims for around $26.3 million for gross negligence. The proceedings result was mixed and found the claimant was not grossly negligent and DRA had not previously made provisions for an award in favour of LMDC and it will be included in profit and loss for the current financial year. Terracom has locked in sales for all coal output from its Blair Athol coal mine in central Queensland until the end of July and is on track to achieve March quarter sales of 600,000 tonnes. In the four months from April to July, it has scheduled a further 10 cargoes worth 750,000 tonnes. Nine of the 10 are index linked contracts and one is fixed at US $300 a tonne. Financial year coal sales are targeted at 2.3 million tonnes. Thank you so much for your company on that report. And that's all for now in the early trades. Do stay tuned to Calcane TV as we have many more shows lined up for you, sharing live updates across the economy markets and sectors. Sage here, signing off for now.